subscribers I appreciate you all so today we're going to work on making a triangle and this triangle you can use for the base of a bag um, I saw this and I was like this is really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a tutorial on that I'm just using a regular category 4 yarn here and my 5.5 millimeter hook you can use any size hook that you want any category yarn um, the bigger the hook the bigger your square will be your triangle will be so let's go ahead and begin so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a magic circle if you don't know how to make a magic circle you can chain five and then go into your uh, slip stitch into the first stitch to make a circle and then go ahead and make your pattern from there the magic circle is a lot easier because you can adjust it so I'm going to show you how to make your magic circle so you take the tail end of your yarn and put it across your fingers like I have here make it long enough but not too long then on the other side of your hand you're going to take your yarn and wrap it around and make like an X then you're going to take your hook with your hook portion facing down go in between those the two pieces of yarn there pull the bottom yarn and as you're pulling it through go ahead and twist it keep it nice and loose Go ahead and remove your fingers wrap your yarn around your fingers like you normally do and grab those three strands just to keep it um, steady and then go ahead and chain one turn your loop so that the tail part is up top and now you can begin so we're going to start off with a half double crochet so a half double crochet is you yarn over go into the loop yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three of your loops that's how you make a double a half double crochet now we're going to add three double crochets to that same loop so yarn over go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and that's how you make a double crochet if that's too fast for you um, and you want something a little slower I do have an absolute beginners tutorial on how to do the basic stitches um, I'm going very slow and I have abbreviations so now we're gonna make two more double crochets into that same loop this is two and this is three I also forgot to mention that you're going to need three stitch markers so let me grab some stitch markers here <clears throat> now you want to take a stitch marker and you want to put it in that first half double crochet that you made of your section your slip stitches your stitch markers are going to mark off your sections so this is your first section now we're going to go in with another half double crochet and we're starting our second section so go ahead and make your half double crochet and go ahead and put that stitch marker into that first half double crochet because this is your second section so now again go ahead and put three half to I mean three double crochets into that stitch there into the loop and you're just repeating that first section okay 
So that's our second section. Now we're going to go into the third section. And you just keep doing this. Each section is a half double crochet. When you make your first double crochet of that section, go ahead and put your stitch marker in there. And then make your three double crochets. So I'm going to make my three double crochets. And then I will be back and we'll start section uh, row two. Okay, so now I have my half double crochet and my three double crochets. I'm going to push these over and then I'm going to go ahead and pull that tail to draw everything together. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next section. Okay, so let's go ahead into the following row. Go ahead and remove that stitch marker there and yarn over and put a half double crochet into the first stitch. Actually, sorry, <laughs> slip stitch into the first stitch. And chain one. Now back into that same stitch that you slip stitched into, go ahead and make a half double crochet. In your next stitch, you're going to make two half double crochets. In the next stitch, you will make one half double crochet, two double crochets, and another half double crochet all of those stitches go into the same stitch now in your last stitch here right before that second stitch marker goes one half double crochet okay and as you can see a little bit is starting to make like kind of a peak there so remember also when you begin your section make sure that you put your stitch marker back into that first stitch so that you remember your first second and third section so this is our first section of row two now go ahead over to the next one remove that stitch marker yarn over and go into that first stitch with a half double crochet go into the next stitch with two half double crochets Remember, when you make your first half double crochet, make sure you put that stitch marker in that first one so that you don't get lost. Everything doesn't get mixed in. So now we made our two half double crochets. Go into the next stitch with your half double crochet. Two double crochets. And one half double crochet all of those stitches into the same stitch so that's <clears throat> one half double crochet two double crochets and a half double crochet all in the same stitch and then in your next stitch you're going to put one half double crochet and that's your pattern around so now do your second your last section the same way remove that stitch marker put your first half double crochet into that stitch there put your stitch marker back into that stitch and then continue your pattern and so i'm going to continue and i will meet you when we get to the beginning or get to the end of row two okay so now we at round two here i'm going to go ahead and remove this stitch marker because now we're going to begin to increase so that your triangle can get bigger so go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch and make a half double crochet into the same stitch Go ahead and put your stitch marker back into that first stitch and now we're going to make three more half double crochets across so you'll have a total of four half double crochets going across so this is one two three and four and the next stitch, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to go ahead and make 
two half double crochets into that same stitch and then in the next stitch we go right into our pattern yarn over make a half double crochet in the same stitch make two half double crochets this is how we get our peak and now a half double crochet into the same stitch so you have a half double crochet two double crochets and a half double crochet into the same stitch so now let's continue into your next stitch you're going to now make one half double crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the next stitch okay now go ahead into your next section remove your stitch marker add your half double crochet to that first stitch put your stitch marker back in and now make three more half double crochets going across one two three and that's a total of four half double crochets in the next stitch you're going to make two half double crochets and in the next stitch a half double crochet two double crochets and a half double crochet into the next stitch and now in those final two stitches just make one half double crochet into each of those stitches okay so now do the same thing for your next section remove your stitch marker add your half double crochet put your stitch marker back and repeat your pattern which is three more half double crochets going across two half double crochets in the next stitch and then begin your half double crochet two double crochets half double crochet into the same stitch and then one two into the last two stitches one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches so I'm going to continue on and I'll be back so we can start row four okay so now we're heading into row four go ahead and remove your stitch marker and make your first half double crochet into that section into that first stitch place your stitch marker back in there now go ahead and make six more half double crochets across so this is one two three four five <clears throat> and six one two three four five six and one more is seven so make seven half double crochets going across remember to put that stitch marker into the first stitch and now go into the next stitch with two half double crochets And now you're going to go back into that pattern like we did before and make your half double crochet two double crochets and a half double crochet all into one stitch now go ahead and make your way across and into these next three half double crochet so that's one two and three and that's the end of that section 
So now go ahead into the next section with the same pattern. So remove that stitch marker. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Make a half double crochet into that first section. Go ahead and put your stitch marker back in there. Make six more half double crochets going across for your total of seven. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in the next stitch will be two half double crochets. And in the next stitch, again with that pattern, half double crochet, two half double crochets. And another half double crochet, all into one stitch. And then make three half double crochets going across. One, two, three. And that's how you make that pattern. That's your first section there and again go into that next section with that same pattern your half double crochet put your stitch marker back in and then make an additional six half double crochets and then your next will be two half double crochets and then back into that pattern with your half double crochet two half double crochets and half double crochet into one stitch and just keep going and then till you get to your final section there. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll be back when I get right here to the end of my row. Okay, so I'm back and I'm at the end of the row, but I just wanted to show you something before I end the video. You can go ahead and slip stitch into that next stitch. If you wanna make your triangle wider, go ahead and slip stitch into that next stitch and chain one and make, you're gonna make 10 Half double crochets across so you go into that first stitch with your half double crochet make sure that you put your stitch marker back in and then make one two three four five six seven eight nine more half double crochets go into that next stitch with your two half double crochets and then into that next stitch with your half double crochet two double crochets half double crochet all in one stitch and then make your way over to the other side and make one two three four half double crochets so that's how you're going to increase your rows as you go around so i want to thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at cam tie crochet thanks for watching have a great day bye bye